newsroom in London. Welcome back to Democracy Now!, Luke. Tell us what happened. Well, uh, before I do that, I think you have to understand the context, which is that for, for the first few months of last year after Snowden's leaks, both the U.S. and the British governments were, were scrambling to find out what he'd taken, how much he'd taken, why he'd taken it, um, and were really kind of clueless. Uh, and so I think in that context, it's hardly surprising that the, the small number of journalists who were working on this material, including me, would have been targeted. Um, what happened was that I was... Uh, writing my book, I was about halfway through. I'd been to see Glenn Greenwald in Rio uh, in Brazil to interview him, um, which was a kind of curious experience because Glenn is clearly very heavily surveilled by, I think, all sorts of people. Um, um, back at my home in the English countryside, um, I, I was writing kind of rather disparagingly, rather critically about the NSA and it's the damage these revelations had done to Silicon Valley. And I was sitting back, uh, working offline, I have to say, and as you say, the text began rapidly deleting, and I thought, "Oh my goodness, what what, what is going on here?" Um, this happened four or five times um, over a period of a month, to the point where I was actually almost kind of jokingly leaving little notes every morning to to, to this kind of mysterious reader. Um, uh, and then at one point, one of my colleagues mentioned this in a newspaper interview uh, in Germany, and it suddenly stopped. So I, I wrote this piece not because. This was a especially sinister experience, but, but merely to kind of lay out the facts uh, in, in what was another curious episode in an already quite surreal tale.